book, the laundry book. Okay, there you go. This is Ghetto News Reporter, Mary McDaz, 20 Mary and Elite. Today is December 23rd, 2019, so they say it could very well be 2018. Either way, today is the day the Lord has made. Let's be glad, rejoice, and it's I'm in Chicago and stuff at the Trap House, 6210 South Kim Bark Avenue Apartment, 308-606-37, Chicago, Illinois. Now, I'm about to hand over this paperwork or whatever um, for my Social Security at the beginning, you know, because Steve right there is supposed to be my case manager or whatever said that, you know, I need to give him uh, paperwork or whatever. So you can try to give people your business, what they say, handle your business. Don't let, no bu don't let your business handle you, okay? So when people come in the laundry room and they're not supposed to be in there because it stays right there, you must, or only one person can use the laundry room at a time. I feel that I'm being harassed. And when is this next time we're going to have a meeting, Steve? Because we only had three of them since I've been here, and it's been almost three years. And you keep saying next week, next week, next week, and we're not getting anywhere. You might want to answer that and stuff because, you know, inquiry minds want to know because when people come in on me while I'm doing my laundry and that has never happened before, I take that as a threat, a personal threat, real talking. And I'm, I'm being as you know, professional as possible family. He's not, um, he's not answering. He's supposed to be the one running the show. You understand what I'm saying? But see, when you taking over people business and, you know, trying to make it seem as though they are incompetent, don't know what they're doing or don't know what they're talking about and stuff, other people that run it refuse to answer. I'm just trying to figure out, Steve, when are we going to have a meeting so I can meet my neighbors and stuff? Because it seems as though everybody knows me, but I don't know nobody in here. Are we going to have a meeting soon or not? I'm asking a question, Steve. I'm off today. you off today. So are you going to take this paperwork or whatever and stuff? Because you said you needed a copy. So what you're working for this, but he off, he off today to answer the question. But when it comes to, come to that money, boy, he, he on top of it and stuff. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just this one right here. This is yours. There you go. Make sure I get that the original back. See, that's the Social Security, you know, thing. It's, see, everybody want to retire off my Social Security and stuff, you know what I'm saying, because I'm worth a lot, you understand? But he couldn't answer that question and stuff. You see that? You see? Now, I'm, I'm going to play this game as long as they want to play it and stuff, for real. Ain't nobody been that hungry to clean up since I've been here. They can't even fix the elevator or whatever and stuff. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying, if you're going to do your job, do it right, because that's what I do. I do it right, but not at all. Real so. And there's a lot of people out here be love, would love to come in here and do this job for real. Bunch of them. So they got the, look, they got the sweeper and the vacuum or whatever, but ain't nobody doing anything. But they were so thirsty to clean up around me, but they didn't even take the Clorox bottle out the uh, laundry room or whatever. And it is clean. Cause you know, I'm not a dirty person. Maybe that's the problem. Just wanna dirty up my name like Tupac said. You understand what I'm saying? Some deja vu all over again. So you see, today, the 23rd, I signed, I went to the laundry room at 10, 21 a.m. Not long after, about uh, uh, maybe less than an hour, here comes somebody invading my space. That's the original. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, he took, he took the money. So y'all know who got the money. I ain't got it, nigga. So stop stalking me, for real. I'm just a client, right? They call me a guest. <laughs> Imagine that. All the shit I'm doing. Okay. Um, what time you got, Paul? Huh? What time you got? Uh, 12:39. 12:39. Everything 39. Yeah. And it is clean. See, nobody put clean down here on this one. So I guess they really don't matter if it's clean or not. You understand what I'm saying? So please, leave me alone. And not only that, this is some good game right here. If I'm doing laundry, right, say I do laundry like twice a, a month, they getting free money. All they got to do is keep putting the quarters in. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Nobody's paying for laundry but me. Probably nobody paying for fees or whatever but me and stuff. They're just living off of me. I'm just giving you good game, real talk. It's like when I was playing pool back in the day and all I put was a dollar on the table. I kept whooping motherfuckers' asses and shit. I didn't have to keep putting a dollar because I kept whooping their ass and shit. So I think they're trying to give me back for that. And with that, this will get a news report of Mary and Dash between Mary and Lee. Step your game up. Peace!